listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rosnack. It may be hard to believe, but another season of Music and Mavens is quickly coming to a close. Three months of fantastic and diverse musical performers, thoughtful and engaging lectures on Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. It all ends with a musical party, the likes of which can only be thrown by none other than the Dirty Catfish Brass Band. Jump up and get down with a blast of brass as DCBB takes us on a trip to New Orleans. Kyle Woodlake and Todd Martin from Dirty Catfish Brass Band are with me in studio. Hello to you both. Hey, Simon. How are you? Uh, I'm doing real well. I'm Excellent. super excited about this concert that you've got coming up with Music and Mavens. Um, Dirty Catfish Brass Band, a name that has become synonymous with a, a good time. Y'all have been at this since 2011. Can we begin by going back to that time? Uh, what inspired you to bring a little bit of the Big Easy to the heart of the content? How, how the band started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is credited to our keyboard player, Aaron Schottaker. He went to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival experienced brass band music live and came home and said we have to do this so we had uh i had i had known him we we used to share uh, a a bi-weekly gig at the cavern called soul night he's in a band called the solutions um so it was kind of he asked me and then we all sort of pooled our our bands of friends and then came together came together with the uh yeah there's the like idea. a couple, couple little pockets of groups there's like yeah some of us went to school at brandon university together and uh my good friend andrew was maybe one of the first to to join the band and they invited yeah. me out one night to kind of sit in on a tune or two and then i just found myself being asked he stayed for the whole night yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then come, hasn't left since come yeah. to rehearsals <laughs> manage now the books band all the gigs. yeah, yeah. The writes gigs. music yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean you know in terms of coming together um you, you certainly boast a phenomenally talented roster um there's something like a, a dozen degrees between all of you from universities something uh, like across that. north america yeah um, rather than me try and distill uh, the DCBB experience for those Classic 107 listeners who may not have had the opportunity to get, you know, joyously sweaty and gloriously mm-hmm. groovy seeing you perform, <laughs> um, Kyle, let me ask you, how would you describe the DCBB experience? Uh, I mean, the whole thing, we're just trying to bring joy through music to the people that are out to see the show and for the people on stage. I think, like you said, we're, uh, we've put our time in learning our craft and, and kind of knowing what we're doing on our instruments, but... Um, but we're there to have a good time more than anything. And we're all super close friends and we're it's kind of like uh, like a brotherhood and a family or whatever you want to call it. And I think that's something that resonates with a lot of the folks that come to see us is there's just a, a level of comfort and trust and honesty that um, I think it makes for some kind of special in that way as well. You can feel that connection. Like it's just so apparent and it's just everybody having a good time. Uh, Todd, anything to add? Not really. I mean, we were, Kyle just got married last week. Yeah. So, uh, oh, congratulations. The whole band was there. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's, it's really, a, it's, it's a family band. That's, that's how it feels. And we've been together now for a long time. So when we started the band, like none of the, I think only Stevie had kids. And now several yeah. of the members have had children and gotten yeah. married and we've all grown up together. Yeah. And so yeah, it's a, it's a good time. It's a good group. Uh, well, over those years, uh, you guys have performed uh, everywhere and anywhere from street corners to festivals, community organizations, lending your sound to fellow artists. The list goes on and on and on. Uh, re- refresh my memory. Have you done music in Mavens before? Uh, we did. Uh, I think maybe you, I think there were still some restrictions in place. So it would have been slowly coming out of the pandemic. So maybe yeah. 2021, yeah, yeah. I would say, because yeah. I know that there was maybe limited seating. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. And, and something along those lines. But, yeah, so um, not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling about returning to a, a full Bernie yeah, theater? Excited. Um, yeah, excited. Well, party I started. mean, yeah. I recently, um, this fall, I got a membership to the Rady, so I walked oh, by nice. it a couple times a week uh, yeah. when I'm going to the gym. So Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I have a membership now, too. Oh, oh look wow. at that. Yeah. Look at that. Unsponsored. <laughs> look at this yeah. soliciting uh, the memberships Rady. of the Rady JCC. <laughs> the I guess I should go down. to exercise yeah. and, <laughs> and hear jazz. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and also uh, the, the best place to go and take in a, a daytime concert. I mean, you guys have performed at probably all times of day at, at, at this point, but there's something special about a, a midday recital, isn't there? We've, we've talked about this so much over the run of, of Music and Mavens. Yeah, it's great. It's nice. It's nice as musicians not to have to go out at night. Um, and yeah, it's just a little bit of a day. It's it's like a an afternoon NHL game or mm-hmm. going to a, a matinee movie or anything. It's something nice to do in the middle of the day and still have the evening to, mm-hmm. to do what you need. Um, so the program is titled "A Trip to New Orleans." Uh, wh- what do you have planned? What's what's the musical itinerary looking like, huh? Yeah, I would say we're gonna um, we're gonna probably focus a little bit more on the music that kind of got the band started. Some of the classics from uh, 
you know, some Rebirth Brass Band songs we learned that really, well, Todd can tell this story, but we um, we both kind of were watching Treme, uh, oh, HBO yeah. show, as we were, show, as we were um, kind of getting started with the band. Um, so we want people to kind of feel like they're, they're in the streets of New Orleans or that they're kind of feeling that music is similar to how we always felt it was cool. We were like watching that show as we were learning the music and uh, like, like, hey, that's the song we're learning. Hey, that's that band. Mm-hmm. Or So feeling like you're dancing on the street and um, a little bit more focus into um, into the New Orleans inspired funk and brass band music, which is mainly where our, our inspiration lies. But over the years, we've, we've started to borrow a little bit more from modern funk and writing our own music. So there will be some... Definitely some of our own original music, but probably keeping a little bit more in in some of the New Orleans brass band and piano tradition music. Uh, you guys have done such an incredible job of bringing that tradition here. Uh, for those who, you know, maybe aren't super familiar, um, h- how would you describe it, Todd? Like, can you can you kind of give us an overview of what that tradition is and how you've sort of made it your own here in, in Winnipeg? Yeah. Um, so the second line tradition uh, in in New Orleans goes back to like before the 20th century. Uh, I was actually reading a book uh, about Louis Armstrong, and he was talking about playing in the Tuxedo Brass Band and how it was one of the proudest moments of his career. Mm -hmm. And that really resonated with me because I've done a lot of different things in my career, but I'm definitely the most proud of playing with the Brass Band. Um, And it's just, it's, it's, we, we have played in all situations. I guess that's the best way to describe what we do like we've played at weddings we've played at funerals we've played for no reason at all we've played at festivals we've played in bars street corners people's living rooms um basically it's 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 really a community ensemble and that's the best thing about it and i think that's what resonates so much with the people of winnipeg because it's such a great community here and we've just been able to add to that in our our own little way uh, you certainly have done exactly that, and you're going to continue um, to build that community. Let's hope so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just so excited about this. The, the last concert in Music and Mavens, and, and what a way to shut it down. DCBB, Music and Mavens. Um, Kyle, Todd, thanks so much for joining me in the studio today. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Simon.